This is David Ezra Stein, the creator of Interrupting Chicken. Interrupting Chicken started out as a knock-knock joke I heard as a kid. I went like this, knock-knock, who's there? Interrupting Chicken. Interrupting Chicken, who? So, ever since I heard that joke, I had been wondering, who is this little chicken and um, what does she interrupt? You know, what's the rest of her life like outside of this knock-knock joke? Then we come to the star of the show, the chicken. So here's, I was probably sitting on a train or something and I did a hundred different drawings of the chicken to make sure I really was able to draw her character doing a number of different things, like surfing and wearing a tutu, reading the comics. Once I have the character, um, the drawing of the character the way I want it, I have to go to color and see what technique I might want to use for the finished artwork. So here's a really, really early chicken um, that's very textural and has a lot of brush strokes in it. Mm -hmm. And here we're starting to get closer to the technique I used in the actual book. Um, but I'm, I'm using secret formulas of watercolor to try to get the right color for all the parts, like Papa's tail, the combs, the waddles. When I first heard the news about the Caldecott honor, I didn't even know that that was the day when they were announcing this. I was in my pajamas, I was going to eat some oatmeal with my family, and I got this call, and they said, hey, we're in San Diego, this is the Caldecott committee, we're all here, and we wanted to let you know that you won a Caldecott honor. And as soon as I heard the word Caldecott, I kind of froze, and I just said, are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I didn't know what to say. I still don't really know what to say about it now. But it's really exciting that so many people will be able to see my work. And something that I created in a little studio is out there for all the world to see. So that's one of the best things about being an author in general. Is that you can do something very personal and then lots of people might see it. So that's the tour of my death trap and studio. Watch your step.